Okay, so this school year is officially done. Whoa. <laughs> I've been going through this art school for a year now and Jesus Christ it has changed my life. It's been an amazing year, but I'm not gonna talk about that yet because I want to make a separate video in where I talk about how my year was with the help of my Hufflepuff hourglass. I made that hourglass at the beginning of the school year in this video. Um, so if you want to know more about that, watch that video or wait for the video I'm going to make um, in a couple of days probably. I'm going to empty it with my boyfriend tomorrow, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but enough about that. In this video, I'm going to give you a sketchbook tour of my school sketchbooks. I filled up more than an entire sketchbook this school year and we've made tons of projects. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process of it a little bit and what projects we made and all my end results. So yeah, epic. Let's go. All right, so these are my two sketchbooks. I'm sorry for the shitty setup. I have no money, okay? But yeah, this one is the one we officially got from school and that's why it has like the cool cover and all. <laughs> and this one I bought for cheap because I needed an extra one, okay? So let's start with the official one. So first off, in the official one, there's a lot of like casual bullshit about school itself. And then, um, I decided to make the first page really cool and not school interested at all, but it's still really cool, so. <laughs> and then we have the first project, which is a stop motion animation. Um, just a warning, <laughs> in this school process is like so fucking important, it's more important than the end result. So there's a lot of text and also a lot of sketches. Um, yeah, so not really interesting, <laughs> but I'm just gonna quickly flip through the pages. Here's a storyboard for the animation, made yeah, quite a few of those. And here's the char character I uh, designed myself. Um, more storyboards, and this was the final um, layout of the animation, I guess. And another mood board of uh, WordWeb. I don't know. Um, for creativity, that's the class where we experiment the most. So yeah, I don't know how to explain all this. It's just a bunch of experiments. And for this one, we had to create a self portrait in three minutes. So there's me. <laughs> and then um, for personality, um, we had to create our persona, make something that explains who you are as a person um it was for our introduction week so we can uh, introduce ourselves to the rest of the class so i wanted to um make me as like a, a, a game character which you can choose out of with different statistics and items and i didn't draw my dog because i i can't <laughs> but yeah um i went with this pose really cool <laughs> um let's see oh we had to make a button um with a blip bar which is a, an app and website um so when you scan an image this is my button um it shows like a bunch of 3d things on your phone which is really cool um this is also for creativity we had to make a gravity piece um, which was about something in the world. I don't know. I choose uh, Black Lives Matter. Then we have uh, Cross Media. Um, I don't know how to explain it in English, but anyway, another class. Um, we had to make a pictogram of ourselves, of our interests. So you can see a guitar, a Nintendo Switch, a pencil, music, all the things that I love. And then we have to make a pictogram out of that. I really don't know what this is, <laughs> but there are some good drawings though, but I really don't know what it is. <laughs> um, for DDM, which is another class, um, we had to come up with a character and a background and we got a description from our teachers and then we had to make a character and a background out of that description. Here are my character designs. I 
I tried out a bunch of different character designs as you can see um, so we had to um, make three favorites which you can see right here and then um, we had to pick one of them make the character design the full character design and a background so that's cool um, now for personality in turn two we had to make an ambition project um, to show the teachers from next year um, that you were worthy of going to the next year because you could still be rejected so that was very stressful um, but more about that later <laughs> here's more of that character and a cool weapon I went for a kind of like a Thanos style weapon because that fit him really well um, and then here I have uh, background sketches for um, for the character um, we, had also, we also had to make three final ones and I ended up going with this one but these, these three look really cool actually I forgot about these <laughs> so for the next project we had to experiment a lot again like really a lot <laughs> so like um, only halfway through the project we knew what we were actually supposed to make at the end so <laughs> it was all about experimenting so I, I did and I did that at home because um, I was in quarantine 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 I still can't say that word but I made a vlog about that so if you want to check that out it's a bunch of bullshit a bunch of memes it's it's funny but um, back to this one it's more experimenting um i don't know what this is <laughs> to be honest um this is more of that uh ambition project um which i actually kind of feel that <laughs> this idea i scrapped this idea one week before we had to hand it in and i made a completely different thing um which is also why my <laughs> result and my grade was not good at all <laughs> but oh well um next for DDM, again, uh, in term 3, we had to draw things in perspective. It was all about perspective. So we experimented a lot with that, as you can see. Um, <laughs> back to the ambition project, I scrapped the idea. In the last week, I made this drawing, which is like a, a Pokemon drawing. It's really, it's really bad, actually. It's not original at all. I just made a 3D a 3d thing 2d and that's it so really bad idea <laughs> um more perspective drawings um we also have to make one of our bedroom um which is this we had to make that in 3d in blender that was it was fun a challenge but fun um so there you have it and Oh yeah, this is really random, but we had to make a we had to make a bridge out of paper clips. Really random. <laughs> really weird. Um oh and here's my uh, final drawing for the perspective uh, project. Uh, so that was sketchbook one and now on to sketchbook two. So this one is not filled up all the way, don't worry about it. <laughs> but um it's still quite a few projects in there that I want to show. Um, first off, I have this word web, um, which is for what the fuck is creativity? <laughs> that was actually the name of the project. I'm not kidding. Um, we had to express what creativity was to us. Um, we were completely free on how we can make it. So it could be a video, a video game, uh, a drawing, a painting, whatever. Um, but eventually I chose to make a video. So that's cool. I'm not gonna post it on here though. Um, so for DDM in, I don't know what term, <laughs> we had to make a stack up city in Blender again. So I here are some layouts. I went with this one. Then here's the shine project, which is like, it's like chapter two of the ambition project. Like with the ambition project, we showed to the teachers if we were capable and my teacher said she wasn't sure yet so that was absolutely great to hear so for the shine project we were supposed to use that feedback 
and create something purely based on that feedback. And my feedback was make something original because I make a lot of fan art and non original stuff and I just draw that. So that's not good. <laughs> so um, for my shine project, I designed um, an, a, a witch all by myself. Every aspect of this witch is designed by me. And we had to present that so I I, um, I glued all the process in here too so people could like flip through my sketchbook again. Um, and here's my witch. Pretty cool. Um, then for creativity we had to um, make something for a neighbor but I'm too socially anxious so I made a drawing of my dog for my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, here's that audio again. Um, that audio assignment, not gonna show you, nope. And then, um, here's a big project. We had to design our own font. So, as you can see, a bunch of A's and none of them are the same. Like, literally none of them. <laughs> I experimented a lot with this uh, project, which was really fun. So, yeah, there's this. Um, Yes, again, what for this creativity, video, audio thing. Um, oh, and then lastly, for DDM, this is a really quick sketch, but um, we had to make a cube world with three words, and my words were city, skeleton, and death. So here are some sketches of a skeleton, and here's the final project. And that was it, actually. So... Not all of my projects I made this year are in uh, these sketchbooks, so so here's a flip through of all the other projects I made this school year. sketchbooks if you want to see more of the things i make and create and want to stay updated on that you can check out my portfolio or my behance behance or behance i don't know i don't fucking know um my portfolio and my behance page is linked in the description so check that out if you want and probably in a couple of weeks there will be another video on um the school year and how i experienced it because this school year was truly life's changing <laughs> but for now this is it um thanks for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like let me know in the comments which project was your favorite and then i will see you in the next video hopefully <laughs> bye bye